Hello guys, pretty sure you've seen the news by now. My wife and I have just made a sneaky visit to the UK. Arrived at Windsor, met the Queen, buggered off again. Bish bash bosh, in and out, military precision. You didn't have a bloody clue we were there. And neither did the tabloid press photographers. Didn't get a single picture. How does it feel guys? No snappy snaps for you this Easter. Bit gutted, yeah? Good luck paying your bills this month with no pictures to sell. You're just a bunch of failures really, aren't you? Time to sell your camera, yeah? See if McDonald's will give you a job flipping burgers or taking out the trash. We flew in, we flew out, we tripped you all. My wife put on a big hat and sunglasses, smuggled me through the airport in a wheelie suitcase. I'm not going to lie, it wasn't the most comfortable journey for me. About 10 hours trapped in the luggage hold. Didn't get much sleep, had to pee in a Highland spring bottle. Whilst I flew commercially, my wife took a private jet, which, you know, I think is fair enough. It's for the best if she can stretch out, put her eye mask on and get some sleep on a flight. Because when she gets tired, she starts hitting people and I don't need another nosebleed. Anyway, when we got to Windsor, everyone was delighted to see us. The Queen, my dad, and nobody said anything racist, which was brilliant. They were just really happy to have us there. Although I think they were concerned about us missing our connecting flight to the Netherlands because they kept asking us when we were leaving. In the end, they just literally pushed us out of the door. Very considerate, actually. But you know, that's what families do. Couldn't bring the kids with us on this particular trip, unfortunately, because my wife hates them. Just locked them in the garage with some books about critical race theory and some hormone blockers, just in case they decide they're transgender while we're away. The gardener's going to chuck a grab bag of skittles through the garage window for them once a day, so I'm sure they'll be fine. I mean, let's face it, they couldn't have a worse childhood than I did. Now we're off to the Netherlands for the Invictus Games. Did have some luxury accommodation lined up, but the wife needs some space, so now I'm staying on my own at the Ibis. Still, it's all character building stuff. Got the Netflix crew here with us filming the whole thing. Well, not the whole thing, just the moments that show us at our deeply caring, humanitarian best and emphasise the fact that actually we're very, very private people. So basically, I'm having a great time, I'm really thriving right now and I absolutely don't regret my life choices. Keep it real, guys.